Cup competition, huh, Ken? Yeah. And, of course, we extend our sympathies to all the celebrities who are now two-time losers. But our heartiest congratulations to Mikey Turtler, who will become a true inspiration for generations to come. <laughs> I know, I didn't buy it either. <laughs> you can believe this. It's time for Kenny Blankenship's Painful Eliminations of the Day. And starting out at number 10, it's filmmaker John Carpenter, who directs himself right into our septic sludge. <sighs> Number nine goes to Sausage King Jimmy Junkdeen, who totally kielbasas himself. What an Oscar Mayer wiener. And number eight, it's Crab Inspector Anthony Rubin. Maybe he should inspect his drawers after that run. Ha! And number seven, yes. and number seven goes to UFC champ Steve Boner, who whacks his head repeatedly. He keeps doing that, he'll go blind. And number six, Sesame Street's Mr. Mailbags. Oh, I think he may have ripped his sack open on that one. And number five, it's Aaron Krasaniak, creator of French Tickle Me Elmo. Check it out. Elmo's world just got rocked. And number four, country music's Tim McGrowl, who has a number one hit right here. Somebody bury him with his boots on. And number three goes to Howie Mandela. He starts out okay, but then blows it. I'm giving him the Nobel Falls to Pieces Pride. Number two goes to young Haley Joe Osmond, who gets all six senses knocked out of him and then some. And my most painful elimination of the day goes to little Mikey Turtler, who's going to need a total nose restoration after this run. Don't worry, his brother will get it running. <laughs> ah, well done, Kenny. I toast you. Yeah, here's to me. <laughs> yeah, here's to me. I'm Kenny. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you mocked me. <laughs> <laughs> right you are. Take us out. Hey, what do we always say? Don't get eliminated!